In this video, we will be showing you how to do a calibration on the DECCON FP524D combustible gas sensor unit. As with all calibrations, be sure that the operator knows you are going to be doing a calibration and confirm that the unit is in bypass mode. When in calibration mode, the milliamp signal will go from a normal operating signal to a 2 milliamp signal. Please note that on the FP524D you will need to ensure that there is a jumper between the yellow and black wires at the sensor housing. Do not jumper these terminals if the unit is a DM500IS toxic gas sensor unit. We will start with zeroing the unit. Using the magnet that is supplied with the unit, hold it above the icon PGM1 at the transmitter. An arrow will pop up on the display showing that the magnet is interacting with the transmitter. The arrow will point up, indicating that you are selecting PGM1. After holding the magnet over PGM1 for a few seconds, the operational display will change to the calibration menu, which will display PGM1 equals 0 and PGM2 equals span, going across the screen. If you do not hold your magnet over either PGM1 or PGM2 within two cycles of the calibration menu, the calibration menu will revert back to the operational display in operational mode. We shall now begin with a zero calibration. To start, apply the zero gas to the sensor element. Then, hold the magnet over PGM1 to bring up the calibration menu. From there, hold the magnet over PGM1 for about 5 seconds. The display will state zero cal twice across the screen. At this point, the magnet can be removed from the transmitter. It will then scroll setting zero twice. Once it is finished, it will state zero saved across the screen twice. After this, the screen will go back to its normal operation screen in operation mode. Next, we will span the sensor element. Taking your span gas, in this case 50% LEL methane, have it on standby. Hold the magnet over PGM1 until it brings up the calibration menu. From there, hold the magnet over PGM2 for 5 seconds. During this time, an arrow will point down on the display, indicating that it is registering PGM2. The display will read span cal then apply 50% LEL gas. As the span is in process, you will be able to see on the display that the readings will be going up. Once the sensor has leveled out with the calibration gas, it will wait a few moments to confirm that it has reached the span mark, at which point it will change whatever reading is on the display to the span level, in this case 50%. After this has happened, it will blink the span level reading a few more times to ensure that the level is correct. Once it has been confirmed, the display will state span OK, what the sensor life is at in percentage, and remove gas. You may now remove the span gas. The display will start to lower. It is our recommendation that at this point you use zero gas to flush out the sensor system. Once the sensor reads 4% LEL, it will indicate that the unit has been successfully spanned. This completes our tutorial on the zero and span calibration of the DETCON FP524D combustible gas sensor. Please note that the same process can be applied to the DM500IS toxic gas sensor, though the calibration gas, unit of measurement, and span range will be different. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us directly using the email provided in the description below. And if you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe to our channel to receive updates on more ProTech product tutorials.